The latest generation of Phantom Commercial DE lighting systems by Hydrofarm are high-intensity 1,000-watt and 750-watt horticultural lighting systems that are both powerful and versatile. Each system combines a Phantom Variable Output 50 Series DE electronic ballast with a Phantom double-ended reflector in your choice of open, enclosed, or super deep style and a premium European double-ended high-pressure sodium lamp. All three reflector styles are interchangeable on these systems, allowing you to easily switch to a different reflector style if desired. These commercial-grade systems allow you to select the most appropriate light intensity level for your setup and the phase of plant growth. If hanging the DE system from ceiling joists, you will need a drill, a stud finder to locate the joists if they are behind drywall and not exposed, and something to assist you in screwing the eye bolts or J-hooks deeply into the joist, such as a long screwdriver or a large pair of pliers to apply leverage as you turn them. If you are going into drywall and using expansion hooks, you do not need any tools. To prepare for hanging your DE system, you will need a drill to make pilot holes in the ceiling joist, and if installing into drywall or plaster, expansion anchors. Install two J-hooks or eye bolts or anchors if not installing into wooden joists, approximately 20 inches apart. If you cannot locate the joist or it is unavailable, you can insert expansion anchors into the ceiling, but we strongly recommend that these anchors and the hooks you use with them should be rated to hold at least 50 pounds each. The proper installation of your double-ended lamp is extremely important to ensure normal and safe lighting system performance. This video will illustrate the right way to install or replace DE lamps into Hydrofarm reflectors. First, turn the system upside down and place the ballast on a table or other level work surface with the reflector supported for stability. This way you can easily access the lamp holders. Slide both lamp holders outwards and away from the center of the fixture. Next, ensure that the two wire leads on the DE lamp are straight. If they are not straight, gently bend them by hand so that they come out from the lamp at a straight angle as this is necessary for proper installation into the lamp holders. Wearing gloves in order to avoid leaving skin oils on the lamp envelope, lay the lamp into position. The correct lamp position is as follows. Be sure that the bulb is oriented so that the burner filament, the long wire that runs along the full length of the arc tube, is facing the top inside surface of the reflector. Also, note that the bulb must be oriented so that the high voltage wire lead is installed in the lamp holder that is closest to the ballast. The high voltage wire lead is the one near the small square tab known as the getter which is attached to the wire loop. Be sure that the wire leads are fully seated into the notches in the lamp holders before sliding each lamp holder closed. Once the lamp is positioned correctly and the wire leads are properly seated, slide the lamp holders inward toward the center of the bulb to secure and lock the lamp in place. After sliding the socket ends closed, be certain that there is no gap between the edge of the sliding section and the part it meets at the end of the slide path. Do not apply excessive force when installing the lamp or force the lamp holders closed. These actions could cause damage to both the lamp and lamp holders. Once your DE lamp is securely installed, turn your system back over to the working position. It is now ready to be hung in your grow room. To hang your Phantom DE system, first make sure your ballast's power cord is not plugged in to a power outlet. Attach your clip, chain, or cord to the two integrated hangers, which are located on the ballast and on the armature over the reflector. Now, adjust the system to hang at the height you need. When the system is hanging securely at your desired height, plug the power cord into your power source. For proper lamp break-in, allow new lamps to operate at 100% power for the first 12 hours. This will improve lamp life and performance. Now, set your desired wattage output level using the variable output button on the bottom side of the ballast. There are five output levels you can set the ballast to. The 1000 watt ballast models can be set to 600 watts, 750 watts, 825 watts, 1000 watts, and 1150 watts. The 750 watt ballast models can be set to 400 watts, 500 watts, 600 watts, 750 watts, and 825 watts. Please note that the ballast decreases or increases output gradually to protect the lamp, so you will not see an instant increase upon changing your output percentage. When a USB cable is connected to the ballast's control port, manual selection on the onboard wattage control is defeated. 
The power level LED lights surrounding the variable output button on the bottom panel will go dark, and the LED that is labeled PX1 will go on. When the USB cable is disconnected from the control port, the onboard output control is reactivated to the variable output button on the ballast. The PX1 digital lighting controller is specifically designed to work with the Phantom Commercial DE electronic ballast and connects to it via a USB port located just below the IEC power cord input. This diagram shows a typical connection setup between the PX1 and multiple Phantom DE systems. Follow the PX1 instructions for proper operation and to avoid ballast damage. The Phantom DE ballasts can communicate 10 different status conditions through signals shown by the combination of the dimming button and the selected power LED. This table shows the 10 conditions and the signals that indicate them. The 50 series Phantom DE systems are designed to allow you to easily replace the reflector. The system's armature will accept any of the three reflector models, open, enclosed, and super deep. Replacement of the reflector at the same time that the lamp is replaced is strongly recommended in order to maintain best possible PAR output and plant growth results. You can also opt to change to a different reflector type according to your current needs. To replace the reflector, first make sure the system is unplugged and the lamp and reflector have cooled completely to room temperature. Invert the system and place the ballast on a table or other level work surface. While wearing gloves to protect the lamp from skin oils, slide both lamp holders outward and away from the lamp. Remove the lamp and set it somewhere safe. Locate the small tab at the ballast end of the reflector in the center of the reflector's underside. Press firmly down on the tab. The reflector will pop free and be released at that end. Lift the reflector up and away from the armature and the reflector will also be released from the two tabs securing it to the front end of the armature. To install the new reflector, simply place it into the armature at the front end first so that the two tabs there are seated into the two slits in the reflector. Then set the ballast end of the reflector down into position and ensure that the rear tab engages with an audible click. Now, replace the DE lamp as previously described in the segment on lamp installation. With that, your Phantom DE system is ready for action. For further help, Hydrofarm product support can be reached at 800-634-9990, extension 507.